Hello and good afternoon from uh, London here, just gone past 12 o'clock and just having a look uh, across some of the markets at potential opportunities or areas to be interested in going into uh, sort of the American session. Just having a look here at, at, uh, at oil to start with and you can see this highlighted here really was the, the Trump tweet that we had and the reversal yesterday stems from the sort of the opposite side to uh, Trump's tweet saying that OPEC uh, allies to stick to the oil supply cutting pact and, and really we've had a, a reversal since then helped by the API uh, uh, results yesterday where we had a surprise draw from uh, a 3.3 million bill that was expected so price has, has continued higher we've just come to an interesting point which was the low that we had back on the 21st and first real test of that has, has been pretty important uh, obviously with the, the DOE numbers out later in the day uh, if we can get a, uh, a push above that it wouldn't be too surprising to see by the end of the day back up to the high that we had back on Monday. Key levels to be aware of obviously $56 where we had a lot of resistance and support uh, but really I think the opportunity may come as we get into the DOE numbers uh, later on. On a more medium term perspective you've got uh, T notes here breaking out uh, of this charting pattern so I'd be looking for any sort of retracement here or continuation of this helped by perhaps a, a more dovish Fed obviously with Jerome Powell speaking later would be one just to, to bear in mind there but it wouldn't be all too surprising to see us continue to push up um, of this uh, this sort of flag pattern uh, as well. Another medium term trade with the positive Brexit news of uh, a delay to Theresa May's uh, deal and extension of Article 50 most likely. We've seen the pound strengthen and against the euro we talked about yesterday how uh, the opportunity here could be going short once this is broken. It has broken and it wouldn't be too surprising to see us continue to push lower overall really targeting the 2017 and 16 double bottom. Um, any retracement back up to that level from the 22nd of January uh, would be an awesome opportunity to get short if not already aggressively on that. Elsewhere more medium to uh, shorter term I should say waiting for gold to break out of this pattern. Again not a bad one to, to look at whether we get any strength or dollar weakness could be the, the overriding sort of opportunity for that uh, as well. An Aussie dollar where we're just starting to see it drift a bit lower. I like the idea that if we can come back and retest this at some point later in the afternoon, that and the pivot uh, for a short is, is not a bad uh, option on that. Uh, but yeah, main headlines, Brexit positive for the pound across the, the board. Uh, Jerome Powell speaking later on, a bit of uh, lower tier data uh, and then the oil numbers out as well, which could provide opportunity going into the back end of the session.